Good morning, Hornets. It is Friday, September 17th. Quick announcements today. We have the Hornet Point store open during lunch, so remember to have your logged Hornet Points ready to spend at the store today. We've had many students visiting the store the last couple of weeks, and I know that number is only going to get higher. So if you got your logged Hornet Points, get ready to spend them. We got tons of great prizes down there. We got to make sure that they have been logged with a student council member. They've got to be hole punched and they have to have your name on the Hornet Point in order for you to spend them. So make sure you take care of that for us. So that way we don't have a hold up on the line. So looking forward to seeing everybody at the Hornet Point store today during lunch. Our, we have a open house curriculum night on Thursday, September 23rd. It's from 6 to 730. It's really going to be like an open style to where you and your family member can walk through our hallways, visit your teachers if they're here that night, ask questions briefly. But the really the main purpose is for you to be here, show your parent or guardian around, uh, potentially show a project or something that you're doing in class. Uh, we will have like a raffle for anybody that does attend you and your family's name will be entered into a raffle where you'll be drawn out for prizes. So we encourage everybody to attend for that. And that is on Thursday, September 23rd. All right. No junior high students are allowed to attend the high school homecoming dance. I have had a couple of questions from students and from parents. I want to go ahead and just tell everyone right now that no junior high students are allowed to attend the high school homecoming dance. So if you're asked by somebody who's in high school, you will need to tell them no. And if you have trouble doing that, I can tell them for you. Lastly, we have a cross country update from the Mason meet last week. And I'm going to tell you, these finishes are very impressive. So for the girls, this is out of 400 racers. So out of 400 girls, Q Wilcox placed fourth overall, fourth place out of 400. Addie Bivak was seventh out of 400. And Ava Heitmeyer was 10th out of 400. That's very impressive. Congrats to them and the team. And we had one top 10 finish for the boys out of 450 racers. Bryce Reynolds was 10th overall. That is fantastic, and the team has been working very hard. I want to make sure I give a shout-out to the cross-country team for all that they're doing. Everybody have a great Friday, and go Hornets.